All right, so I'm gonna turn the key and the beeping's gonna stop. You hear it beeping? Turn the key, off. Turn the key, off. All right, hey guys. So anytime you don't have spark on an outboard, people are like, test the kill switch circuit, test the kill switch circuit on forums. You know, you read online, try to figure out what's wrong with your engine. That's what they say to do, and they don't really tell you how to do it. So here's how you do it. All right, so some boats have a kill switch lanyard here. It's a safety, you know, when you go and flip out of the boat, it comes off like that and that switch right there grounds out the spark so basically what you need to do is you need to get up in here and make sure this switch you can see they stick they get sticky and they don't make good contact and they can be corroded all inside there and that can cause you issues i've actually had issues with this one um it caused me a lot of issues with sticking and corrosion and stuff and the outboard just won't start, won't start, won't start, and I jiggle this, and the thing starts. So that can be a very easy, cheap fix um, that you don't want to overlook on a lot of boats. All right, so you can see this old boat. Man, this thing is old. It's like 1979, This these controls, but still works. But you can see right here, this does not have a safety lanyard of any way, shape, or form. Like, anywhere. Not at the helm, not anywhere. And basically, it's built into here. So it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing as a safety lanyard. This is more of a kill switch, you know, to turn the engine on and off type of deal. But uh, the safety lanyard is basically like just wired in the chain. So like it comes here, it goes to the safety lanyard. If the safety lanyard is off, it won't start. The key won't do anything. If the safety lanyard's on, the key will work. So you need to check the safety lanyard like on that other boat I showed you. But basically, they're all, it's all just wired together so that, uh, yeah, the safety lanyard, you pull that thing off and your boat is not starting. And uh, I'd start with that switch on most boats. Most boats, that's where you're going to want to start with the safety uh, switch in the kill switch circuit. All right, so on Evan Johnson outboards, you got power packs on both sides if you got a V6 like this or V4. But basically, it's this one wire right here and it's black with a yellow stripe coming out of it. Um, it comes out of the back of the power pack and then it runs through the wiring harness and it goes, you know, wherever it goes up here to the big red plug up to the helm. But basically you just pop it off and stick the multimeter in there and then put one lead of the multimeter onto the ground, one lead of the multimeter on this and then I'll show you what to do next to test it. We're basically just gonna turn the key on and off what this thing does is it basically grounds out the spark. So when you turn the key off, it grounds out the spark. When the lanyard comes off, pulls off, when you crash the boat, uh, kills the spark. So that's basically what happens. It basically just grounds the spark out inside the power pack. So, you know, this wire touches ground um, with the switch and then you disconnect the switch. It's not touching ground and then it touches ground and then it that's just how it works. It grounds out the spark. So let's test this thing out. All right, so let's test the kill switch circuit. I have the multimeter hooked up right here to the kill switch wire that goes back to the remote control. When I plug it in, it's going to start beeping. When I turn the key on, it should stop beeping if the kill switch circuit is good. All right, it works good on this side. Let's check the other side. All right, same dealio. All right, so I'm gonna turn the key and the beeping's gonna stop. You hear it beeping? Turn the key, off. Turn the key, off. That's what I was doing. Turn the key, off. So the kill switch circuit works fine. It's working fine on both sides. All right, y'all, so that's it for the video. I've been filming a ton of videos on this Evanrude outboard, trying to work on it and show y'all how to do a bunch of stuff on it. Hopefully it helps somebody f work on their outboard and fix it up, you know, because nobody really teaches how to do this stuff online. So I'm sure it's helping y'all out. 
drop me a huge thumbs up down below if it is. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what kind of stuff you're working on. And don't forget to subscribe down below for more outboard videos in the future. I'll check y'all out later. Peace.